Welcome back to my channel boys, today I'm gonna be featuring a replay in the object 263 fucking beast TD at tier 10 um, playing on what's it called R R Runeberg, uh, Winterberg, yeah Runeberg and Winter basically um, matchmaking really in my favor, a lot of tier 8s, like half of the enemy team is uh, our tier 8s, a couple of tier 9s, a couple of tier 10s, so this tank does really well when up tiered uh, when playing against a lot of lower tiers um, because you can they cannot pin you cannot really pin your gun mantlet which is the weak spot and they cannot really pin anything else apart from the lower plate so if you hide that you should be um, pretty well on against tier 8s and tier 9s so enemy team in the beginning rushes the middle which is a smart thing to do from there they can they have vision across this uh, entire area here can spot everything and if they had already then already would be already shooting us I guess um, so I take aim to the middle and no one peeks so I decide to go to the middle here between those two houses and just peek and see what they got here see the T34 but then decide to shoot the E50 who gets one into me in return but only does like 240 because he's using the stock gun and I have a nice shot for 600 damage into his low plate. I'm trying to hit the scopola there. Um, don't know if it connected. I guess not. Uh, yeah, our team got some things here in this area, in the small village. Um, get another shot into the E50 for 630. Really nice roll there. And our heavy tanks playing it really slowly and carefully um, in the city, really defensively. Uh, which is good. There are not that many in the in the city, so they kind of need to stick together and play it slowly. I'm just checking here for targets, checking all the angles. Never know what they got here. I'm gonna peek here, and I get spotted. So that tells me they have some TDs on the zero line. I thought it was probably the Yakti got a shot me there. That got spotted in the beginning. So take aim at TT 34-2. Pop a shot through his hull into his track, so I actually do damage and detrack him even through the outer track. If you can take aim carefully and have like, have like really high pen against uh, non-armored targets, then you can actually do such shot, such shots. Yeah. So uh, pop it around this corner again, trying to get a shot into the A50, but he already waited for me and just pulls back. So no idea what the Skoda he is doing here. <laughs> he just goes out and e 613 into the face. All he does in return is to damage my um, to damage my gun. Kind of annoying, but yeah. Need to use my repair kit then. So I see the badget in the middle. Try to take careful aim through the um, bushes and through the fences in third person, but actually the shot bounces. Ryan metal on the zero line camping. Just take a snapshot there. A snap blind shot. Um, don't know if it connected. Probably did. So again, the team playing really slowly in the city like they're getting pushed heavily by the enemy TDs and mediums so they're taking defensive positions and just waiting and chilling a bit yeah um, kind of the same happening on this flank here um, we're just playing it slowly so this T34 is peaking again trying to get a shot at the scopola nope it bounces there's really at this moment there is no real pressure the, sco uh, pressure, the scores are even and they're not capturing, so we can just chill. I tried a shot at the Batchet again, but it, I don't know, I maybe hit the wreck in front of the Batchet or I just hit the ground. Trying to go for it again, but he just pulls back. So yeah, again, just playing it slowly, playing it carefully, trying to check every angle. I don't want to overextend and lose all my health first. I know that they got TDs camping in the back, so I want to be really careful. I peek here again. Checking the angles. Nothing here yet. Ryan will get spotted on the zero line. I tried to shoot him, but he's behind the rock. So, yep. See the Yak Tiger? Is he gonna poke out? No, actually pulls back, but I got a decent... Uh, shot into him just detracking him but I mean it's a it's a standing target maybe he uses his repair kit for that see the scout I'm gonna shot into him sadly and now I got spotted again I need to pull back and in the meantime I don't know what just happened but a lot of tanks died 
all the tanks that we had uh, situated around the middle here, T62 for example, they all died. And in the city also some tanks died. So the scores turned from 6 to 6 to 8 to 8 or 9 to 9 10 within like one minute now. So a lot of action going on there on the other flank in, and in the middle. Right now I make a decision. I see that we are two versus four on this flank, so I decide to leave this and help out to clean the city. You see a T-54 also trying to run out, which is a correct move, but he gets caught by the tier 8 wizard, which is doing the right move there and pressing us back. So this is an important shot, wanna pick up this 263, I got his ass, so just take careful aim and easy, he's gone. Everyone died in the team right now, it's only the T-54 on very very low health, 22 HP, and IS-3 which is almost full HP but for some reason not doing anything there. So I decide to go in and try to catch the Tiger 2 before the uh, TDs and the Skoda and the light tank arrive from the little village. So I played very aggressively here and just go in, try to find the Tiger as fast as I can. Scores up. 10, 13, just the two of us against five tanks right now. I see the Tiger just pop around the corner. He doesn't really have hope of, uh, or a chance of panning me. Snap one through his upper plate. With this amount of pen, what is it even, like 290? Yeah, 290, exactly. I can just go through his upper plate, no problem. And here he actually does a really clever move. He really surprises me. He goes out full speed and somehow manages to overmatch my sight and damages my engine. And because I used my gun before already, this could really bite me in the back. Yeah. 263 with the dead engine turns like a fucking mouse. <laughs> the Skoda here uh, trying to flank us, he gets himself stuck on a rock, which is fairly lucky for me and he makes himself an easy kill for me. Okay, see the Rhine medal, 560 alpha, 539 HP, he should be dead, no. Uh, I low roll, rather unfortunate, but try to get another shot here. No, he's behind cover. So right now I'm thinking, uh, what should I do? I'm just checking the angles. I see the Rhyme Metal going this way. IS-3, 1260 health. Should be able to deal with the WZ maybe. And then now I'm gonna be checking for the Rhyme Metal. And there he goes, really, really um, not careful play by this guy. Just rushes out, tries to get across. And I was kind of expecting that, so I just waited there and easily picked him up. So right now it's a 1v1. The VZ actually rams the IS-3, so he's only 212 health left, which is an easy one-shot for the IS-3, no matter how high he rolls. But for some reason the IS-3 manages to screw this up. Also the JT just appeared, and he just killed the IS-3. I see the scout, take careful aim and pick him up. So, right now, 1v1. 1,090 HP against 2,100 a full HP Yak Tiger. So I'm peeking behind this 30, which gives me really good cooldown cover. He whiffs his shell, and I get a nice shot into his lower plate. Was a lower, but doesn't matter. I will need four shots um, for this guy. So right now, also loading APCR because it's the the heat of the battle is on right now, and I don't want to bounce shells on his uh, super structure. I just need a slight pen low roll, it's like 270, the superstructure of the Yak, uh, of the Yak Tiger. So if I slight pen low roll, uh, I will already bounce and I don't want to risk it in this situation. So I just go with APCR rounds. Note what I'm doing here. Um, I see the 30th wreck and by ramming him into the, or the wreck into the butt, I try to turn it like this. Um, so I can peek over the engine deck of the 30 and shoot over this engine deck and uh, like keep myself full down. Enemy JT actually doing the same. He got a Rhine metal wreck there, which he's pushing uh, in front of himself, which is also really, really good play by him. And you see he's also perfectly cool down. So I think now I got a comfortable position with the 30 there. I slowly poke out. He whiffs the shell again, uh, hits the superstructure and bounces. I take careful aim. Again low roll, but I panned, which matters here, and I pull back, I reload, he again pushes forward, I take careful aim again, and here he actually pans me in return, not quite sure where he panned that shot, but alright, looks like he shot through that for some reason, or somehow, and the last shot, 
through his upper uh, upper plate angle, but with this APC open, just not gonna pen. Yeah, so I'm able to pick him up, and that's the game. So let's take a quick look at the uh, post battle results. Ace tanker, loads of little shit medals that I don't really care about. High caliber, always nice to have, and of course the top gun. So in this battle I managed to do 7600 damage, not really that high uh, damage, but I think I played it really well in the end, so uh, this replay was worth showing I guess. Also 6 kills, yeah just casual stuff, you see a lot of damage block, 2690 um, in the 263, um, not that unusual but pretty good in considering in the matchmaking, like a lot of tier 8s. As I said in the beginning, they will all just bounce off your, your superstructure and if they don't really know where to shoot then they will not really have a chance of penning you frontally. Or team, let me check, yeah, didn't really do much there, see, I covered the team, didn't even do 1k damage, which is like 3 shots or even 2 shots on these guys. And yeah, so I think it's safe to say that I carried my team. I actually made 44k profit on this battle. Um, due to me not firing a BCR and only like three or four shells in the uh, in the at the end there, and due to not uh, using the premium consumables, and yeah, that was the game, boys. I hope you enjoyed this replay. If you did, then please leave a like or a sub, and also check out my stream and see you on the next video.